be calling me that. Oh Sam, shit! I forgot I was gonna tell you. Oh, it's this guy. Man, I had like a topic ready and then I just forgot. I haven't done this, have I? No, this doesn't look familiar. No. It also would- I don't think it'd let you redo this, would it? Uh, she's accidentally went to another boss before, um, but I don't think it would play the cutscene again. Yeah. Oops. Either way, Let's see. Basically. Get fun bullets. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Bullet breath! That fanfiction wasn't too far off. Oh god, wait, Steven, have you followed up? What, do we have a response? <laughs> yeah, do we have a... Good question. Let me check the website. I need... I need to know. The people out there need to know. Mm. Fan fiction. Got it. Am I still logged in? I don't remember what this guy looked like in the original game. Me either. You should look it up. I'm gonna do that. What's his name? Bronkle? Yeah, his name is Bronkle. Bronkle? <laughs> oh shit, it is. No! Oh, 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 uh, oh, 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 oh shit, Scoober. Oh, he got he kinda looked terrifying in the original. <laughs> He's kinda terrifying now. Is he dead? James. <gasps> <laughs> you better put James' face on there. Oh, damn. All right, but just put James's body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did it. You did it. Lord, that one know? was, like, really easy. Yeah. It wasn't hard for you at all. No, the other ones were really hard. All right, they so... They do be? Logged in. Do Are you ready for Midnight Mountain I World? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell be. I don't think there's a way Shelby. to... See... Notifications. I guess I can go back to that one. Spyro Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> when the dragon fight calls. That's what it was, right? If that, <laughs> that sounds familiar. Don't act like you don't remember. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh. Hi, Bianca. <laughs> Did you bring Spyro? I'm really itching the sound. <laughs> really? That's unfortunate, but I really just care about sounding. <laughs> All I need is Spyro. A good point, but again, where's my lover Spyro? <laughs> to hurt the dragons come on we don't have time for this <laughs> what do you think we were hand. gonna do I'm reserved but now i can't see my comment how do we navigate this place oh, did they delete go. it i was marked as a guest uh, maybe my account's not verified or something but no, uh, is no this already the last area? I think so. Yeah. But I want to Shit. Help you stop That's the cool. Sorceress. There's a way to open a hidden portal to her lair, but it'll take some very strong magic. If you can find more of the dragon eggs, I think my magic will be strong enough to open the portal. I'll come find you when you have enough eggs, okay? Okay. We use dragon feces to feces. Dragon feces? There's, there's the never magic. enough eggs. I love eggs too much. Could just I gotta say, that's been like probably one of the rougher parts about me counting calories. No, cause eggies. Is that I'm a huge, huge egg lover. And like whenever I make <coughs> eggs, I usually make like fucking four. <laughs> you just go balls but, deep. But now it's like, you know, I gotta <laughs> stick with two. Mm -hmm. and, which is like fine because I'm actually glad I'm shrinking my stomach and I'm controlling the portions that way. Look what I have here. Yeah. Uh, eggs have always kind of freaked me better. out. What egg whites? I mean, I know yolk is yeah, the, I mean, yeah, yolk's yolk's the best definitely part. definitely better, for sure. <laughs> but... Are they lower in calories? I mean, at least, like, the good part with counting calories and the reason why uh, it's easier for me to stick with it is because it's not what you eat. It's just how much. Oh, well. So That's if I decided true. I wanted a slice of pizza, 
Yeah, that's good. I just have to allocate points for that. You know, why I think that a lot of people could fail on a diet is because it's real easy to relapse. Yeah, because you just want to... It's like, if you basically starve yourself and eat nothing but salads, then it's like the second you allow yourself to get a hold of something you enjoy, you're just going to want a lot of it. I've also heard that cheat meals are really important. Not like a day, but like meals. You know, yeah. like where you kind of oh, yeah. just are like, I'm going to do a gre de greasy, dirty burger with like a bunch of fries <laughs> yeah, for I, one I would meal. Say, and then like you go yeah. back to kind of like restrict, not restrict, oh, restricting sounds so bad, <laughs> but like uh, but portioning, like, you know, portioning yeah. correctly and it's stuff. portion control. Yeah. But yeah, so like I've heard that that's really important just so you're not like, don't deny yourself of the things that your body is telling you that you want, you know? Yes. Yes. That's a, like, don't that's a very bad thing to do. Don't completely Be do that. That. Yeah, because you're you're gonna set yourself up for failure. Uh -huh. So yeah, I I say like, you know, once or twice a week, minimum. I I have days where like one meal I'll just eat a fucking platter of sushi. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. like another day I'll have a, like a burger or something. And it's like okay, well that was my main big meal of the day, and then yeah. I can just and then you have like a couple snack small things. Yeah. yeah, snack on butter chips. Butter, butter chips. chips. Ugh. Snack on butter. Just yeah. suck on a block of butter. Are you gonna be oh, this Oh man, guy? the Agent yeah. Nine level. I loved this as a kid. This guy's kind of a psycho. <laughs> yeah. I'd say all the the side characters in this game all were fun to play as. Like Sheila, yeah, I really like playing as most of them. Honestly, um, Sergeant they're Bird, they're pretty Agent fun. Nine, they're all fun. Have you ever seen inside of a Professor bear? Eyebrows over here? Yeah. <laughs> That's the most Tom Kenny voice yeah, ever. Watch where you're I pointing that. Could you stop them? Yeah, he's just <laughs> fucking <laughs> stick him up. Yeah, yeah, he won't let go. It's like no, no. <laughs> he's he's looking at him all sussy like. Sussy baka. Yeah. Sussy baka. What's the bang? The boom bang <gasps> bing. Swing. Hey 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 hey. I'm bad thing. with this. He was always my least favorite because I'm bad at this type of gaming. <laughs> yeah, the, the twin sticks. Yep. The twin sticks the always fuck me. Oh, no. the dummies and the occasional Rhinox. The Rhinox are hung, hanging among us. Oh. Bang. Oh. Moggy. Monk. Bang. Oh, don't shoot me. Bang. Bang. Yeah. Bang. Bang. Hell yeah. I bet Dude, this doesn't work, but let's try it. Skills. Lenny, can I try? You wanna try? Bang. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, you can try. Let's try it. I wanna get this first. I wanna make sure you get all the gems. Okay. Okay, all the gems you can see, make sure you get them. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be really all anal about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All those times you watched Steven play Red Dead have paid off. <laughs> I really got to unbox that. You do. It's really good. I, yeah, I really I, I want Steven to replay it because I want to I want to see it from the beginning. I only jumped in like kind of halfway through. How do I open this? Uh, you need something that's more powerful. So yeah. move on. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> well, I didn't mean that as like bitchiness. Just the, well, don't waste your time here. I could probably jump. Yes, that. Steven. I don't want to waste my time. <laughs> Wait, is that it? No, go back, go back! Wait, I was gonna talk to the guy, see if he'd be like, yeah, dude, you know what, you know? Yeah, go to the guy. Yeah, you know what, you know? Wait, go, no, turn around. He's literally by the, by the lasers, by the things. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, Jump Steven. into the lasers. So I'm going to lower this force field. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> They're like out there waiting like Black Friday at Walmart. <laughs> Oh god, you're gonna get trampled you're for the 55 inch. You're gonna fucking die. <laughs> We're all the fucking assholes in the world. You guys ever have to work retail during Black Friday? Um, I worked uh, retail for 11 years, but I did a very different type of retail. So luckily, we like our Black Friday is at the zoo's gift shop. Didn't really, it didn't really yeah, mean. Like no it didn't really mean much. <laughs> um, yeah. And I worked at the yeah. deli department when I worked at Walmart. 
So that didn't matter anyway. Yeah, that didn't. So, no, like, honestly, pretty luckily in our experience, we didn't have to. We dealt with other crazy bullshit, but not Black Friday. Because at the yeah. zoo, where they would still try to, you know, during the off seasons, we were open. We're open, like, every single day except for two days out of the year. So they still try to get um, attendance. And so they would do, like, free zoo days. Do anything? Uh, you probably fucked it. Okay. Yeah, you already destroyed it. Um, they would have free zoo days, and oh my god. Look, there's a thing in the air that you can shoot. See that? Shit. The balloon? Uh, and it was awful, because it's just like, oh god, the people who go to the zoo for free are the worst types of human beings. <laughs> I would imagine. The jewelry section. Oh, after all of them. Oh my god, it's just one big... <laughs> pile of twisted the chains together oh, no. <laughs> like jewelry chains things I fucking hated it cause I worked retail you did uh, mall retail so you three, I did three years at Spencer's yeah. and one year at Best Buy so when we well first of all even besides Black Friday People would always, always pick up T-shirts and just throw them around. Oh so yeah. It's like, oh oh uh huh. So it's like, yep. mm -hmm. so it's like literally that didn't every matter. shit. So it's like most shifts when we were busy, one sales associate would literally just lived be in the dedicated shirts. to folding yeah. shirts. They just lived with of the how shirts crazy all day. It got. Yeah. And then Black Friday, Ugh. like one associate would have to throw them shirts, and the other would have to fold them. Oh my. Because it got so fucking bad. I got real good at folding those shirts because they give you a board. Yeah, the boards are so with. fucking nice. I got. I kind of want one for our house. Yeah. No, I, I was honestly like after leaving that job, I really wanted to buy one. And I just never did. But like, I, I do. I can. I, I, I learned how to fold them without the board, but I, right, I truly love the board. Like it just makes it easier and more precise each time. You know, when you're folding a shit ton of shirts, it's easier. It, um, yeah, it's it's awesome. <laughs> what was it. nice about like the zoo is obviously we would have t-shirts, obviously, you know. Um, but oh they they weren't always um, they weren't always folded. Most of them were hanging on the walls, which was really nice. So even if you had to go pick up shirts, you just slap them on a hanger and go put them back. So yeah, those. But I I, I always appreciated those. I did I, I work just, at yeah. Victoria's Secret. For a couple of right. months, and that was. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, was um, I never, yeah, so I never want to say the word panties ever again. Panties. I fucking hate it. <laughs> it's a weird word. It is. It's I, gross and it's creepy. I never was a fan, but then having to say them to adult men, I was like, <laughs> I want to kind of die. Let's see what kind of shape the machine <laughs> Please put me out of my. Yeah, please room. shoot me in the fucking head. God, please. <laughs> but yeah, um, and yeah, so having to fold fucking underwear all day was. Uh, uh. Yeah. Mall yeah, retail so. is honestly really boring, and I don't like it as much as I liked uh, the like gift shop. Um, I will say. Because mall is so corporate. So, like, they tell you what yeah. things need to look like. And one of my favorite parts of retail was like setting up the displays and like I like to set them up. I don't want to be told how to set them up. You know, so like yeah. making displays was merchandising was like super fucking fun. I love that shit. Yeah, I almost once got a visual merchandising job, but oh, then God. They, honestly, like, I the could last second they went with someone else. I could ooh. I could probably do that. It's honestly, I love it. I think it's really, really fun. I just don't like, and not that I mind always being told what something needs to look like. like every once in a while, they wanted things to be very, very corporate, so very of the same, certain displays and tables. But most of the time, they let you be really creative, and I love, I just had, that was really fun. Love that shit. Yeah, it, but you're totally right, because when I worked at Spencer's, we would always have floor plan. Yeah. And they were always changing. Uh-huh. And we had to put this shirt in this exact spot exactly like, like it when I, I when i started at victoria's secret i was like this fucking sucks because it was like this bra here with the underwear here and the matching robe here like it had to be exactly yeah. what the picture sh showed and i was like this fucking good like, this is bullshit and i hate it i want to like i want it to be creative and fun and yeah, like set it up how i think looks good and then i don't know what was nice is the company that the, that owned the gift shop was pretty chill. They'd just be like, we want like pink plush display, but then you could just 
throw whatever on there as long as it yeah. was fitting the theme, you know? And so that mm-hmm. was they were they were like, here's the theme. We want to we need to up these sales, so we need to make like a fresh looking display of like this product. And so we'd have to put like certain products on there, but then we could just design it and set it up how we wanted, which was super fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I awesome. really, yeah, I really, really liked it. I will say the one thing I really did enjoy about retail was just, well, not the Best Buy, but <laughs> oh god, yeah, not the Best Buy job. But Spencer's was like just I, because I'm very much a people person, mm-hmm. so I loved like just bullshitting with people, mm-hmm. like whatever they come up. I mean, that's how I met one of my ex girlfriends. Oh, really? That's she, funny. Yeah, she can't actually. It's it, it's like a Beulah. little bit of a Beulah. story. So, she came in with her friend, and they were just, I don't even remember what they were looking at, but then they, like, came up to check out, and then we engaged in conversation. She saw, her friend saw my friend working at the time, who was a supervisor, had a a Lord of the Rings tattoo on his arm, and she started talking with him about it, and then... I didn't really talk to my ex. She kind of just stood there and smiled or whatever. And I think we like said a couple things. And and then they leave. And then like a minute later, they come back. And they hold out their hands and they have receipts with their numbers written on them. Thank you. Oh, God, Steven. And, and they're like, Merry Christmas. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, cool. And then I find out that, so originally they had it set up so that I was to believe that the her friend was into my friend, and that's why she gave her number, and then gave, and then she gave my her my number. Uh, she gave me her number, sort of just like as oh, so it didn't look weird or yeah. anything. But then I found Get out back. it was the opposite. Uh-huh. And then I felt I felt bad for my friend because my friend saw I was talking to this girl, and then he was like, "Well, what the fuck? Like, she's not even talking to me." So that sucks. But then, yeah, but then I yeah, then I ended up dating her, and that was like one of the better relationships I've had because she's like one of the only exes I still talk to. Nice. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, retail really helped stuff. me get that fucking gem. Uh, it really helped me break out of my shell. I used to be very, yeah. very shy. Uh, uh, mm. Something about like customer service that I'm grateful for, but I also don't want to do it again. Yeah, I never <laughs> want to do it again, but I'm very happy that I put those 11 years in. You know? Yeah. Sure. But I never it's, want it's to reward. do a it's single huh. other day of it ever again. <laughs> never, ever. <laughs> it literally makes me want to like it makes me want to cry <laughs> thinking never about ever. it forever, ever. I like yeah. my job I don't have to I can only have to talk to coworkers. I get to listen to podcasts all day like very independent no micromanaging which is fucking great yeah like some days I don't That's- even see my boss at all like the whole day and so it's like cool fuck yeah oh, I see. I'll just do my shit that's good shit. I think you have to throw it in the hole. I think so too. You dingus. Well, I just want to see how it works. Oh, maybe you don't. Maybe that's just see. a bomb dispenser. Yeah, I don't think you blow that up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <gasps> Haha. You did oh, it. But. You've done it, my boy. Now you can blow those things up, Stevie. <gasps> the Steve or Maliever. Well, yeah, and like it's the Switch controller, so it's probably drifting. It's not like it's like floaty. If that makes sense. You're oh, floaty. you have problems with your controller? No, I'm just like how the game kind of handles. It. Like Spiral moves fine. But this guy, he's he's just the reticle is just sort of like. Floaty. Careful, like, there's a guy. Smooth. There's still a guy. Well, like it starts slow when I move it, and then it ends slow, then it speeds up. And- does that make sense? Like, I don't know. Yeah, they pro they probably just like took another character as a base model and then like tried to configure it for that. Um but next time though. Hold on a second. <gasps> but next time though, the professor will admit his love for monkey. I'm, I'm getting shot at. Next oh, time. Man. Sparks, get the fuck out of the cabin. <laughs> Wait, pause it. 
Wait. Oh. Oh. Oh, he died? I think he just fucking died. Oh. Thank you very much. You do be killing him. My laboratory. Now I can resume thinking. <laughs> oh, cool. Rowan. Epic. Rowan. Keep rowing, rowing, rowing. It's rowing duck to channel lane on. What? Uh, next time. Did you have a stroke? Next time I'm the Sippy Dippy Gigu! Sippy Dippy!